If you're into a little bit of retro gaming, then this video is for you. In this video, I show you how to put together your own retro gaming console using a Raspberry Pi 2 and the latest edition of Retro Pi. Okay, so for this build, you will need yourself a Raspberry Pi 2, not a 3, a 2. Um, compatibility is the main reason there. A case, whether you use mine or your own. Xbox 360 controller, the wired version, to make things easy. HDMI cable, full-sized on both ends of that HDMI cable. And a power supply for the Raspberry Pi 2 with a micro USB on one end. And that's pretty much it for the parts. You will also need a micro SD card, a nice fast one, a minimum size, eight gigabytes. Install the Raspberry Pi 2 into your case, screw it down, and get ready to image the SD card. To get the software that we need, just Google RetroPi, jump over to the RetroPi website, click on the uh, Get Software button, and download the image for the Raspberry Pi 2.3. Just double check that it's for the 2.3, and download that to your computer. Once you've downloaded it, it's a compressed file, so unzip it to a folder and make sure you know where that is so you can get to it later. Alrighty, using Win32 Disk Imager, go and uh, insert your SD card and go and find the file that you just unzipped, the RetroPie image. Uh, click OK and write that to your SD card. It can take some time. Okay, insert the SD card into your Raspberry Pi, which is inside your little console. Connect the Xbox 360 controller and your HDMI cable, and then you're ready to power on. So connect the uh, micro USB power. The Retro Pi boots up. I've just sped this up slightly. It doesn't take all that long. It'll go through a resizing of the SD card process. Then it'll fire up Emulation Station and ask you to configure your 360 controller. Just hold down any of the buttons to start the configuration process and just follow the on-screen prompts clicking the corresponding button. You can also use other USB powered controllers such as the uh, Super Nintendo style controllers that you can get off eBay very cheaply. But the Xbox 360 is one of the uh, my favorites. If you make a mistake, don't worry. You can always restart this process from the uh, menu within RetroPie itself, and if you absolutely make a complete mess of it, just re-image your SD card and start again. Alrighty, so once you're into RetroPie with a controller, you're actually ready to play games. You can play the install games which are under the ports uh, menu option. There's uh, a few games already installed in there. Uh, your menu look, might look a little bit different to mine. I've got a few additional uh, games and a few additional emulators already installed uh, but you simply do that by setting up a USB stick and the uh, instructions will be on the RetroPie website make a USB stick with a RetroPie folder install it into your RetroPie little console and it sets up the USB for all of the ROMs that you might be able to get your hands on and then you can put that USB stick back into your RetroPie console and you're ready to go. This uh, on-screen scraping option is simply when you're connected to the internet to be able to get images of the games or some of the emulators that you've already got ready to go on your RetroPie. So within the RetroPie menu itself, as you can see here, there are a few other options. One of the more popular options will be to go and install Kodi. So Kodi is a uh, a menu choice and option whereby you can set up your RetroPie console to act as a media center. So under the experimental options of the first menu, just open that one up. You do need to be connected to the internet for this. And once that's opened up, you simply scroll through the additional menus and find the Kodi option. Uh, it'll start with K-O-D-I. Once that package has been found, uh, your menu might look a little different to mine, but once that package has been found, click on that, the installs around 10 minutes and then once it is completed you'll actually see Kodi 
as one of the options under your ports menu inside the RetroPie main menu. So there's the ports menu. And as you can see in there, one of those options I have is Cody. But one of the things ready to go straight out of the box is the old Quake game. So I might as well just fire that one up and show you how Quake runs on your RetroPie gaming console. And that is pretty much it. That is all you need to do to set yourself up a RetroPie gaming console using an Xbox 360 and a Raspberry Pi 2. Like I said, you can use a number of different USB configured controllers. Most of them work straight out of the box. Uh, and of course you can try the, retro, the uh, Raspberry Pi 3. That one does come with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi already configured, so it's nice and easy to set up Wi-Fi connection. And you can use Bluetooth controllers, however I haven't done that in this video, simply due to the fact that some of the Bluetooth controller configurations are rather tricky. So that pretty much wraps it up. I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you find it useful and you can get yourself retro gaming nice and easy and quick. By all means, subscribe. Greatly appreciate subscribers. And the old thumbs up, that always helps. And I hope you'll join me again in a week's time.